see, well, they've been some of the biggest cheerleaders for the president's tax and spend policy, which, by the way, is odd, given that many of these hosts, they own a, owe a ton of money in back taxes. Now, this includes Melissa Harris, Perry, Torre. They owe tens of thousands of dollars. And then, of course, there's the Reverend Al Sharpton. He owes millions of dollars. So in honor of this epic display of total hypocrisy, the Washington Free Beacon put together a montage of these MSNBC tax cheats telling you, the American people, you better pay your fair share because they only care about spending other people's money. We all do our part, but that's part of the problem. Not everyone does seem to be paying their dues. Makers versus takers. They give tax cuts and loopholes to the rich, and they act like it's acceptable. Paying into the collective pot is part of our duty as citizens. I don't get to opt out of paying taxes once we've made that kind of collective decision. They're all afraid to vote for even a modest tax increase on people who can totally afford it. If we want the rich to pay more money, getting them to give out of charity instead of federal obligations might be our only option. Joining us with Reaction National Review is Jillian K. Melcher is with us. How are you? Thank you. All right, so you did a great job on this. You tore this whole thing apart. All right, let, let's start with Torre, the guy. Yes. All right, so it, 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 he owes what, 59 grand? More than 59,000, and I just think that's uh, so interesting given his, his history of advocating for higher taxes on the rich and demanding that they pay their fair share. Yeah. And he Melissa, can totally afford it. And Melissa Harris, well, I mean, are they not paying the people <laughs> over there? Is that Maybe they don't have any money because nobody watches? What's going on? I'm not sure. I mean, you would definitely thinks that they have enough money to be able to afford it, but tax warrants have been filed, tax liens have been filed, one right after another. All right, so Melissa Harris-Perry, who we just heard say not everyone pays their dues and not everyone's doing their part, mm -hmm. uh, she's not doing her part. She's not. She's no. not. She owed uh, $70,000, according to tax warrants. She said she's paid about a third of that. Uh, but again, this is just hypocrisy. Uh, all right, now we get to the Reverend Al. Now we're yes. talking about serious money. He's been at the White House some, what, 90 times now. A lot. And he's got... He owes as much as $4.5 million. Did you, you looked into this. I have. You know, his tax situation is so complex, and it's always changing because, you know, it, it is a lot of different entities. But New York Times tallied it up, said $4.5 million. He disagrees with that. But I was looking into it around tax day. In New York State alone, $876,000 in tax in jail? That's a phenomenal question. I think New York's definitely given him special treatment. Uh, he says that he's got a tax settlement. Uh, arrived in at 2008, but you know the balance. Is He's the pretty damn privileged, that Elf Sharpton. That is a now. big red flag because you have those fears. Why do I think if I didn't pay my taxes that I'd be handcuffed, perp walk, and you'd see me, you know, in one of those <laughs> pictures, a mugshot? Yeah. Uh, there's a there's a dying Senate Deputy Majority Leader in New York, and his son apparently owes sixty nine thousand nine hundred and fifty bucks, and he's going to be he's going to be sentenced next week. Mm -hmm. Okay, Melissa Harris Perry owes more. Al Sharpton owes more. How come this guy's getting indicted and, and getting sentenced, and they're not getting sentenced? I think that's a phenomenal question, and it's one that, despite a lot of digging, I don't have an answer to. Unbelievable. All right. See, I have an answer. Liberals are only generous with your money. Anyway, that's, that's their definition of fair share. All right, when we come back, we need your help. It's about Hillary Clinton. It's our question of the day. That's straight ahead.